Good evening. Glad to see you this evening. We're doing another one of our fireside chats. Laura and I, of course, are on a little getaway out in uh, the mountains. And uh, we were at church this evening. And uh, while uh, at our church, Brother Larry Stovall spoke, uh, Brother Larry Nichols spoke at the little church we went to here just a little bit ago. And as we finished the service, he, he brought a, a message, pretty good message, on uh, a passage of scripture. I'm kind of steal it from him uh, because I think it's uh, very applicable to us and certainly the need that we have in our world today. Uh, verse 31 of chapter 4 of the book of Acts makes this statement. When they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness it's an interesting passage of scripture and this is where uh, the early church if you will was was figuring it out god uh, through his son jesus had told them about this holy spirit this comforter that would come one day and jesus told them to go and gather in the upper room and uh and spend some time in prayer until they felt this power of this holy spirit they had no idea what he's talking about and yet he told them to go do it and they obeyed because of their obedience here we see them they're in if you read the passage earlier they're in one place and one accord and they're they're getting a connection with god's holy spirit they're going to find out that uh, a difference can be made and and while they prayed the bible says that the place was shaken first of all first point tonight was there was a visible reaction there was something happening when this prevailing prayer took place when they prayed with purpose and need and desire to please Jesus uh, the place was shaken there was evidence of the results of their prayer their prayers were making an impact and and may I just remind all of us that we need to realize that when we pray we need to pray with that in mind because all prayer gets a reaction from God sometimes a reaction an answer from God might be Yes, and that's what we hope for, I suppose. And uh, but sometimes there's that negative answer. No, that's not not good. And then there's another answer that that oftentimes we certainly don't like. Wait, not ready for that now. Uh, no matter what the answer, there's movement. There's something happening. But we need to realize that prayer is important in that regard. And then it said something. The next passage, next phrase there says where they were assembled together. And, and that's an important thing to notice. This time of COVID, when the world and our society, our president, our, our media is trying to uh, point to the church and to God and those gathering as they're instructed uh, as, as being the problem, the reality is that here we're told to assemble. Well, let me encourage you, if and when you can, if you're sick, you're sick, you can't. But man, when we can, we need to make it a point to gather together because something happens there when we get together. Uh, things are, are, are changing. Things are happening as we get together. We need to assemble together. And then it continues uh, and says, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. What does that word filled with the Holy Ghost mean? Does that mean just uh, all of a sudden they started boiling? Well, kind of. But it was their spirit that was boiling. The Holy Spirit was making an impact in their life was moving them in, in ways internally that they had never imagined and god was working through his holy spirit in each one of their lives and actually uh, these people became aware that god's presence was with them and then it, it says the direct result of that was and they spake the word of god with boldness the direct result of the holy spirit's work in our heart was a desire to speak God's word and a desire to speak God's word with the confidence that we're right. Why are we right? Because we're so smart? No, no. Because we finally learn to depend on God for everything. Let me encourage you. Uh, as we're gone, let's, let's press that reset button and let's strive to remind ourselves that the word of God is important and let's let that Holy Spirit be engaged in our lives. But it really won't happen until we engage in prevailing prayer. God bless y'all. We love you. We hope to see you on Sunday. Excited to be home here shortly. God bless you. Good night.